With me, as always, is Nurse Carrie, Nurse Kevin, welcome. Thank you. Hello, hello. I'm Nurse Lisa Tomka, and welcome to Nurses Talk. We have a segment of our show that we talk about a featured career in nursing. So we've asked Suzanne Williamson, who's a nurse and a diabetes educator. Welcome to Nurses Talk, Suzanne. Thank you, Lisa. So what does it mean to be a diabetic educator? What does that title entail? Well, from a marketing standpoint, I can be honest that it, it really entails um, a very profitable um, educator position right now. And what I mean by that is as a diabetes educator, I'm in demand. I'm in demand in all different types of healthcare settings. I'm in demand in the acute care setting, which has an outpatient diabetic education department. I'm in demand in the school system. For example, in um, a K through eight uh, school where I can get in there early on and I can talk about prevention and good nutrition to prevent diabetes. I'm in demand in private sector settings. For example, I work a little bit in a gym, and it's a perfect setting for a diabetic educator as well as a nurse because we already have that equipment there, that piece mm -hmm. for um, the fitness piece, so I'm in demand there. The other area is in the work site. Um, there are many employers that are implementing work site wellness programs right now to kind of control health care costs for their employees, and so um, additional training above certification for a diabetes educator might be um, work site wellness coordination. So that's another avenue where employers love to have a nurse come in there. The specialty is in diabetes education because half their employees have diabetes. Great, great for you, sadly, for the state America. of diabetes in America that you're in so in demand. Mm -hmm. So what are uh, some of the big challenges that you're facing? Well, in, in the outpatient setting, and I'll go back and forth from private sector to outpatient setting, because in the outpatient setting, the client that comes in has an order by his physician or her physician that says, you, need, you have diabetes now. You need to go see the diabetic nurse educator. You need to, you need to, you need to. It's forced. That's the best way I can say that is it's more forced. And sometimes it works for that individual who's ready to, to change and to learn. And other times it's, are Let's you start serious? With the basics, right? Let's start with the basics. In the private sector, like in the gym environment, um, where it's more pay for service, they, they make an appointment to see you, similar to how a personal trainer might make an appointment because they want to change your body composition. So this individual at this point in, in this environment says, you know, I'd like to come and see you. I want to learn more about my diabetes. I want to control it. I want to lose weight, eat better. That's, that's perfect mm -hmm. because they're, they come with that open mind. They're ready to make those changes. If someone is interested, if, if we have an RN who's paying attention, we have nurses who want to do this, what do they need to do? Is it something that's learned on the job, or is it a special um, internship? Yeah, or for you as a nurse. I mean, specialty? how did you get there? Right. There are many disciplines that can go for the certification, including pharmacists and dietitians. Oh, okay. um, but for me, as a registered nurse, you, you need to be in practice at least two years. The next step is that you have to have 1,000 hours of diabetic-related educational experience. That means you have to be working directly with the patient population, okay. doing something called diabetes self-management education or DSME. And 40% or 400 of those hours have to be in that year preceding the application period. So the, the center, the certification body wants that nurse to be entrenched right. in diabetes education. So you really know what you're talking so about. So you know what you're talking about before you can go for certification. The third piece is that you need 15 clock hours of diabetic related education with, you, with your patients, plus the application fee. So it's the kind of role that a nurse who, who really has a penchant for enjoying teaching and enjoying educating teaching is a and, great role. Right, and specific to diabetes education. The board is very particular. In fact, they want you to be entrenched. And they define that as that you work for an employer and your compensation is based on that that is your main That's role your as job. a registered nurse. That right, is your job right. that you will teach job, right. diabetes self-management education not to just a floor nurse the population. No, in fact, if I were uh, if a med surge nurse wanted to go and get um, diabetic certification, she couldn't because she's working with all other disease processes okay. besides diabetes on the so medical they really surgical protect, floor. I mean, that's, you know, a very protected certification. 
where, if someone is interested, if, if we have an RN who's paying attention, we have nurses who want to do this, what do they need to do? A nurse colleague can go internally to the inpatient or the outpatient diabetic education program. There's almost always an avenue in larger healthcare organizations where you have the team, right. the nurse, the dietitian, the pharmacist. There's always a diabetic education department somewhere, right. whether it's inpatient or outpatient. That's great. Great, wow. Wow, like, yeah. uh, that's awesome, Sue. Thank you so much for joining us on Nurses Talk. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and we'll see you again on Nurses Talk. Bye now.